Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create custom objects and fields in Salesforce. Before going forward, let me tell you what objects in Salesforce are. Objects are the way you store records in Salesforce. They are basically containers for spreadsheet data. Salesforce objects are database tables that permit you to store data that is specific to an organization. There are two types of objects in Salesforce. Standard objects and custom objects. Standard objects are those objects which are provided by Salesforce itself, like accounts, contacts, leads, cases, etc., which are objects which are provided by Salesforce. Custom objects Custom objects are those objects that are created by users. They supply information that is unique and essential to their organization. They are the heart of any application and provide a structure for sharing data. Let's begin by creating custom objects. To create custom objects, first we open the Salesforce org, and then click on Setup. Now, click on the Object Manager, then click on Create and select Custom Objects. Now, you have to type the name of your custom object in the Label field, and also provide the plural label of your custom object. For example, if your custom object name is Shop, then the plural label will be Shops. Now, click on the Save button and your custom object has been created. When a custom object is created, you can create fields for your custom objects. To do that, you have to first open your custom object, then click on the Object Manager. From the above list, to create fields, you have to click on Fields and Relationship. When you click on Fields and Relationship, you will see the list of standard fields that have already been created when we create objects like created by, last modified by, and owner. These are standard fields. Now, click on the new button on the top right. When you click on the new button, it will show you a list of data types like auto number, formula, lookup relationship, checkbox, currency, date, date, time, email, geolocation, number, percent, phone, pick list, text, text area, time, URL. Now select text as data type and click on next. When you click on next, it will show the field label, length, and field API name. For field label, you have to write the name of your field, just like I am giving the name of my field, customer name. For best practice, you should always start your field name with capital letters. After that, you have to write the length of your field because we have selected text as a data type, so we must give the character length after that field name box, which is called the API name. It will auto-populate. If my field name is customer name, it will show customer underscore name underscore C. Now, there is an option for a description and help text. These are not required but are very helpful. It is best practice to write a description in which we can explain our field. After that, there is a checkbox that says, Require. You can tick that checkbox if you want your field to be required to be filled in. Then in the downward, it will show you two options. Next and Previous. If you want to make changes to your previous page, you can do that by clicking on Previous Page. If not, click on Next. When you click on Next, it will ask you for field-level security for your profile. You have to give visible or read-only access to your profile. For now, we will select System Administrator and deselect other options. Click on Next. Then it will show you three options, Previous, Save and New and Save. If you want to create a new field, click on Save and New. If not, simply click on the Save button and your first field has been created. In the next video, we will explain how to create a new user in Salesforce. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Thanks for watching.